Today we're talking about the five most common title animation techniques that are the basis of many typography effects and everyone needs to know them. So buckle up and launch Adobe After Effects to get started. Alright, the first technique is to reveal the text using a track mat layer. Now to make it happen, the first thing I'm gonna do is to give our text a move. It can be in any direction you want, like left to right, or as I'm doing it for this one, from the bottom to the top. And I want it to happen in one second, which is a perfect duration for this kind of effects. Then after you've keyframed the position of your text layer, use the shape tool to draw a rectangle on top of your text layer. Then bring up the track map menu by pressing the toggle switches and modes from down here and set the text layer to alpha matte shape layer. Now our text layer is only visible wherever the shape layer is and it creates an effect like this. But the secret sauce for this technique is in the flow of the text movement. So highlight the position keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Then go to the speed graph and drag the second keyframes handle to the left to make a shape like this. Now if you go back and play it, you can see that it looks far more interesting. And you're officially done. Next one is to simulate a typewriter to reveal a title. Although it looks very cool, After Effects has made it super easy to create. Just go to the effects and presets, search for typewriter and add it to the text layer. Then hit U while the layer is selected to reveal the keyframes of the effect. Adjust the speed by repositioning them to your liking and that's it. Sweet and simple. Our next stop is the tracking technique which adds more attention and drama to the title. Now in order to change the tracking of a title, what we need to do is to open up the text layer and from the animate menu add the tracking effect. Then set the tracking amount to your liking and keyframe it to go from normal to distance. You can also make it go from negative tracking which brings all the letters on top of each other but that makes a different effect. Then after you've keyframed the tracking, open the add menu for the animator 1 and add the property of opacity. Then keyframe the opacity to go from nothing to visible in the beginning of the effect. After that, easy ease the keyframes by pressing F9 and do the same thing in the speed graph like we did before to make the move more interesting. And this is what you'll get. For the next effect, we want to play with the focus and sharpness to reveal the title. So again, open the layer and from animate, this time add the blur effect. Then set your blur amount. I'll go with 25. You can also unlink the blur and only blur the text in one direction, but that's not what I'm looking for, so I'll reset it back to normal. After that, add the opacity property to the animator 1 and bring down the opacity to 0. Keyframe the start from 0 to 100 for any length you want and you get something like this. Now the text reveal is based on characters, but if you want to reveal word by word, you can go to the advanced tab and set the based on to word. And we get what we're looking for. The last one is famous for being buttery smooth. Now to make it slide like this, you need to add the position from the animate bar. Then again add the opacity property for the animator and set the position to be low, something like 60 and set the opacity to 0. Then from the range selector, set the offset to go from minus 100 to 100. Then open the advanced tab and set the shape to ramp up. Give the ease high a value like 30 and the ease low to 100 and enjoy watching your title slide like butter from the bottom to the top. There you have it, 5 most common title animation techniques to make your titles dance. But if it's not enough for you and you want to knock off people with a crazy amount of creativity, then you can use our tailor-made typography packs that are each designed to make specific styles for all kinds of titles that you might need for different projects you work on. Now the best part is that these packs have 20% discount for you, so I'd say it's a no-brainer to get them. Use the links in the description along with the discount code to get all you need and have fun creating awesome stuff with them. Good luck!